watch the game. I don't know if we're going in the game, but we'll be there to watch the game. We still are going to go out. We're still going to do the party thing all week. To earn a little bit more than 30 million this weekend, but whether Longhorn or Sooner fans are the bigger spenders is still up for debate. In Victory Park, Omar Villafranca, NBC5. Most fans who flooded the West End last night are now beginning to fill the parking lots around Fair Park. NBC5's Kim Fisher is there with some of those tailgaters. And we saw you last, Kim, you were going to wake up some Sooners. How's it going? Oh, it's going really well. I'm actually in the tailgating area. A lot of these folks have been out here for days. Uh, but, you know, at 9 o'clock, I talked with some Texas fans, so I was on a mission to find OU fans. Lots of buses out here, not many fans. Don't know where they are, but I did find one guy right here. This is Jim. Jim, um, so where are all your comrades right now? Sleeping. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You know, Texas is representing. As a matter of fact, what's this all about? All your friends are Texas fans? You know, we started this years ago, and it used to be about 50-50, and now I think it's 80-20. Yeah, it's looking like you're one against, like, and there's a bunch more over here, like 10. Yep. But, okay. They have this cowbell here. Explain this whole cowbell situation. So this is the battle for the cowbell, and every year the team who wins, they get to take it home and it has to be handed over. So last year Texas won, so I had to hand it over. Uh-huh, so Texas. what's gonna happen to this year? Oh, well, well, this year he'll hand it back. Because <laughs> <laughs> the last time we were three-point underdogs, we beat them 63 to 10. Excellent. Oh. So does it make for a long weekend when you're hanging out with all of these Texas fans? Well, yeah, sometimes it can. It can. And, and when you're wearing women's glasses? Well, <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> it's really a simple question. <laughs> right. If okay. the moon were made of spare ribs, would you eat it? There you go. <laughs> All right, Jim, thank you so much. Now, there are 92,000 fans just like these expected to uh, converge on Cotton Bowl today. And uh, the fair people are hoping that they'll stay around and go visit the fair because they're hoping for about $2.8 million in sales just today. Reporting live in Dallas, Kim Fisher, NBC5. Well done, Kim. Like a good political reporter, thank equal you. time for everyone, right? That's right. Okay, good deal. And Michael's back with us to talk about the weather out there. The fair people have got to be thrilled, not just for the game, but also just the last two days of the fair. It's going to be great. Yeah, you couldn't have gotten a better forecast uh, for this weekend with it being.